friends welcome back to my channel this video has been in the making for a very long time i have never done something like this before and i was just way too excited today i'm sitting with you wearing a cardigan that has been two almost three months of labor i crocheted a cardigan for the first time in my life and i wanted to document it and show you guys because i document and show you guys everything that i do in my life i literally picked up crocheting in like in may i am now way too addicted to it like it's all i do it's all i want to do it's what i dream about it's really bad now i have a cute card again so is it really that bad <laughs> basically today i'm going to be showing you how i made this yeah it's a process it was a very long process um this video isn't really a tutorial because i did not know what i was doing the whole time i'm still shocked to this day that this actually like semi worked out so this is not a tutorial but i will definitely link all of the videos that i watched to help me get to this point in the description i am more so just documenting my process of how i went and what i was doing this is my first crochet piece my first cardigan and definitely not my last i'm already in the works of doing a second one here is the sleeve that's the sneak peek that you get and i am filming that hopefully to be more of a tutorial type thing not too sure if that's going to work out because again i don't know what i'm doing this definitely won't be the last crochet video on my channel but don't worry i'm not going to turn into a full crochet youtube channel <laughs> i hope you guys enjoy seeing the stress and the tears and also the love that went into creating this harry styles inspired patchwork cardigan i hope you enjoy this is a cardigan that needs absolutely no introduction. This was made by J.W. Anderson and was made famous by Harry Styles. J.W. Anderson themselves released a knitting pattern and the world just went crazy. Crocheters and knitters everywhere were recreating this cardigan and that's exactly what I'm doing today. This is inspired by the cardigan, so we are doing different colors. You get the gist. So let's talk about the materials that you need. So obviously you're going to need yarn. I use three different colors. I use a five millimeter hook. You need a darning needle, measuring tape, and scissors. Like I said, I use three different colors of yarn. I use purple, pink, and green, and you're going to need about 250 grams of each, plus an extra 100 grams for the ribbing, and for this I chose green. As for the method, it's pretty self-explanatory. You're pretty much just going to be making 51 squares. You're going to be making 17 of each color. I know it sounds a lot, and it is, but the method itself is easy. It just takes a lot of time. And then lastly, we use a darning needle to just sew everything together. So this is the pattern for the back panel and for this you're going to need five squares of each color you can definitely make up your own pattern but this is how i've placed mine next we have the front panel this is a total of 12 squares four of each color we've got the sleeves this was a total of 24 squares with eight of each color however with my sleeves i actually knocked off a row at the bottom just because they were way too long but we'll talk about that at the end and finally we have ribbing so like i said you have two cuffs the middle ribbing and then the bottom ribbing so let's make this cardigan so this is my crochet update. These are the colors I've decided to go for. I finished my pink and purple squares and I am just about finished with my green squares. I needed 17 of each square um, and I've got, I think 15 of the green squares. So we've got two more squares to go. We get on to the ribbing and then we can assemble the cardigan. So I'm really, really excited. I think these three colors are gonna look so cute together each square has to be 15 by 15 centimeters i'm not gonna lie some of them are a bit janky i have to redo some of my pink squares because you can definitely see the ones that i did when i first started out like this one is just horrible i don't know what shape that is it's not a square so i might have to redo some of my pink ones but my purple and green should be pretty solid so yeah i've already started on my 15th square so i'm just going to continue to do this So I finished all of my green squares. I'm so excited. Um, and now we get onto the ribbing. So my ribbing is going to be green and I've actually already started. 
this little bit. This one's gonna be the cuff, so I'm just gonna do it until it fits my wrists. You do two of them, then you do the middle ribbing and the bottom ribbing. So there's a lot of ribbing to do. I'm gonna be <laughs> doing this on TikTok Live, um, so I will see you later. But yeah, that is my update for now. All of my squares are done. I've literally been doing these squares for about maybe two months now. I think I started at the end of May and it's now mid-July. So I'm so happy the squares are done and I can't wait to actually see this become a cardigan. I'm so excited. So here I was actually crocheting on TikTok live. This is my very first live. I haven't done one since, but I really enjoyed it. So if you guys want me to jump on and do more like lives, either on YouTube, Instagram or TikTok, where I just sit and crochet and chat with you guys, I would love to do that. Let me know. Hello, we are back with another update. Officially finished every single part of the cardigan. I've even done the ribbing. These are for the cuffs around my wrist. I have laid out all of my squares. According to the YouTube video I'm watching, um, we pretty much have been using the same colors except hers is I think a cream color rather than purple but this is going to be what the back panel looks like and then I've got different piles here which I've now actually forgotten what each of them are for but I believe these will make up the two sleeves and then the front panels so I am now just watching a tutorial on how to sew all of this together and then we can commence actually putting the cardigan together. I'm really excited. So for this, you pretty much just need these and then you just use the yarn that you've been using. So I'm just going to use the green because that's what I have left of and we are going to be doing an invisible seam. So you shouldn't be able to see the actual color peeking through. So yeah, I'm really excited. So this was probably the least enjoyable part of the cardigan to me i really don't like sewing i don't know where this started or like where this came from but obviously this is a very essential part so i'm literally just taking a darning needle and some yarn and just going into each of the chains that i've made and you want to make sure that the right sides are facing in so that when you flip this open the seams are invisible um, and you're pretty much just sewing every single square together it's a lot of work but obviously totally worth it in the end. I also sewed my arms together. This is me trying them on. They are super cute. And now all of my pieces are all sewn together. And so the last and final step is sewing all of those pieces together. This was me attaching the arms. Of course, I had to have a bubble tea break. I consumed so many bubble teas in the production of this cardigan. It's what fueled me, it was great. touch I added was a color the tutorial I was following didn't have a color so I had to go and find a different one obviously I wanted a color because the JW Anderson cardigan has a color and I just felt like something was missing so I decided to add one too essentially you're just adding on rows until you get the length of the color this is a very bad explanation but that's why I've linked the video down below for you We're finally done. I also added buttons, which I did not show you because I forgot, but I think she is super, super cute. She's a little wonky, but we love her anyway. I do want to mention that somehow I did something wrong with this ribbing. Um, I'm not really sure what I did. I think I must have just made it too tight along here and then there was too much fabric here so it just goes kind of really weirdly and because also i didn't plan to put buttons on this originally so i didn't have buttonholes so what i did was get these snap buttons that you just sew one on each side and then you can just 
snap it together and then I just sewed three of them on. I placed them so that when I'm actually wearing the cardigan itself, at least the collar sits more evenly. Whereas before it was kind of like one was down here and one was up here. As you can see without the buttons buttoned on, this is how the cardigan naturally just lays. Like this kind of comes up like this and then this is really down low. So it just doesn't match up. And then the collar kind of just, like it just doesn't really match up. So just put buttons so that it kind of does. Like this can kind of come up a little bit. And it just looks a little bit more even so obviously it does look a little bit wonky here but i don't mind her she's my first ever crochet project so i knew she wasn't going to be perfect just such a small detail that i don't really mind the other thing is that the arms are very very balloon like um, as you can see they were also very long put a photo here with arms which is super long i'd followed what the video had said the video that i'd been following that was how many squares that she had put on for her arms and i'm not sure if i have just really short arms maybe but it was just way too long so i just removed one of the panels on the arms now the arm is three panels long and then these two panels are where kind of the front panels start and as you can see they're still quite long my fingers are here but i don't really mind this kind of oversized look but yeah those would be the only two things that i struggled with with this cardigan um other than that it was super easy to make all the squares it's literally just a process of making 51 squares just so just easy and like it's really nice like brainless work if that's kind of what you want and then at the end like sewing it all together again really really easy it's just getting kind of the measurements right i am so happy with her she's so cute this really cute cardigan i'm actually so happy with her and i'm just never gonna take her off to be fair also this is my first crochet video this is my first ever crochet project so please be kind it's not perfect i'm aware let me know what you guys think and if you guys love crocheting as well what do you think my next project should be if you guys love crocheting as well let me know what you're working on i am so excited to just see where i get to like in this in my skill level with crocheting in about a year's time because you could probably see from a couple of clips that i'm still quite slow i still like stumble and mess up i'm gonna stop talking thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel if you guys would like to see more crochet videos give the video a thumbs up if you want that or even if you don't want that you can dislike the video as well if you don't like crochet videos it'll make me sad but it'll also boost my video engagement so <laughs> no but in all seriousness i hope you enjoyed this subscribe to my channel if you guys would like to see more of my lifestyle beauty content and also follow me on tiktok and instagram that would mean so much to me and without further ado i will see you in my next video bye Thank you.